Got a little shop update for you guys. Uh, just some of the stuff we've been up to this week. Um, got some orange dragon scales here. And last week, <clears throat> I had a comment from a guy saying black dragon scales with orange blood spatter would uh, make him die, come back to life, and then buy a set. So here you go. Uh, we'll see if you were serious about that. But uh, if not, I'm sure somebody else will love them. Here's the classic red blood uh, next to it. So you can see side to side. And this is something new we tried out. Um, a customer suggested it as a thought was to paint the um, the tips of the dragon scales toxic green and see how that look, look would look like. And it basically consisted of us, we anodized the green first, took a nail polish with a tiny, tiny paintbrush and just painted them on. So you can definitely see that it's rough. You know, the uh, paintbrush is not a very accurate way to do it. Um, it was an experiment. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. Be nice. Um, I'm not super stoked about the quality of the lines. I think they look kind of rough and like a child drew them. And Eric and I are not artists, so that's kind of true. But um, let me know what you think. They do look kind of cool. They passed the five foot test, that's for sure. But uh, there's that. Um, I've showed this before, but I threw it together sort of on a half-assembled Mini A100, this new violet color that we got. Uh, they look pretty sweet. Uh, up here, this is a set of Titanium Emersons with anodized ice blue with uh, dragon scales engraved onto them. I have a whole video of this process coming up, uh, coming up soon. I just have to edit it. And then... A whole stack of what are these? Spider Co paramilitaries. Uh, all wrong. All garbage. Made these this week. There's 02, there's 04. Each one's closer and closer. This is the process you gotta go through to CNC something to a high level of perfection. Um, you can see this one, the chamfer tool went all the way through. Oops. This one turned out okay. But either the liner doesn't fit up and line, pro line up properly, or the thickness is wrong, or there's all kinds of different... Like this one turned out way thin. Um, so we're fine-tuning it. We're almost there. Literally, almost there. I know these are going to be a huge seller for me, so... That's going to be good. Um, however, I got to try out a new pattern. Check that out. Honeycomb, yo. Anodized them yellow. I've never actually anodized a set of handles straight up yellow. My toxic green is a mix of yellow and green, but um, this is the first set I've actually made yellow, and for a honeycomb, it, it fits. Um, now these are useless. They don't fit properly on a, on a paramilitary. The holes aren't chamfered for the screws or anything, but they are certainly awesome looking paperweights. And I'm thinking I'm going to auction them off for all you wonderful viewers. Um, start the bidding at $5, that's what shipping is going to cost me. And uh, let it run for a week or so. Not a big deal, just they're paperweights and they're not even that heavy. So let me know guys, thanks, bye.